So I hope you guys had fun. This concludes the intro to the AI training series. And there's a lot more you can learn like Comfy UI, Adapter, and Control Net, which you can look more into if you want. But as far as just doing some basic training on your own character for some screenshot image to image stylization, this is really all you need. Thanks to all the members of the support squad for helping make sure that this information is freely available to everyone who needs it. It's because of them that these videos are still possible. And shout outs to LaForbe for walking me through this entire process. He literally sat with me through hours and hours of Discord calls explaining everything I needed to know in order to turn this information into a cohesive tutorial series. You know, when we first started talking, he was explaining his workflow to me, which actually turned out to be the inspiration for me creating the photo booth asset in the first place, because he was describing this crazy process of posing a rigged character and then changing the backgrounds in Photoshop to get different screenshots for a 2D database to train a character. And of course, as a 3D guy in Unreal, I was like, bro, literally, instead of manually posing and making hundreds of backgrounds for each screenshot. Like here, we could just put something together in Unreal that has a bunch of different backgrounds and easy controls to cycle through different poses. And that way we could just take hundreds of screenshots in minutes. So all the poses that I put into the photo booth were basically poses that I saw him use when he was training his own database. So if you'd like to make your own database and you have a 3D character that's also compatible with the Unreal 5 skeleton, you might want to check it out on my store. But yeah, it was really cool to kind of see what he needed from 3D and what I needed from 2D. And together we we kind of just helped each other out. If this kind of stuff is fun for you, you might want to consider joining the AI Art Enjoyers Discord. That's where you see a lot of really cool people just making a lot of cool stuff. If you have any questions, you can also ask them or you can drop by my own Discord under AI Questions. Or if you just like making cool stuff, definitely show us your work under the AI Daily channel. Would love to see the designs you create. This was a really awesome learning experience for me. Learning how to train an AI on my own art has always been something I've wanted to learn how to do. And I have a newfound deep respect for the people who do this professionally. There is a lot of time and effort and work that goes into the task of training a data set. It is not a one and done deal. It is a step by step by step process of revision and refinement and retraining to improve the quality of the database and the captions until you finally get the kind of results you want. Before learning how to do this, I was under the impression that I could just dump all of my art into a folder and press the train button. But as soon as I tried to learn how to do this, I immediately realized that I had to start asking questions like, what kind of style are we specifically training for? What kind of poses are we training for? Do we want full body? Do we want portrait? Do we care about the environment? Do we want them to be able to remove their hat? Or will the hat be on the character the entire time? What sort of tags, captions, and prompts would most likely get the results that I need? And how can I ensure that the quality of the images in the database are all of a standard that would make my character accurately reflected, but still flexible enough to use generally? On top of that, there's also the different types of parameters and settings for different types of training, and the different specs depending on your machine are going to drastically affect the kind of training that you can do. And very quickly, you just kind of realize training an AI model is a skill set just like anything else. It is not easy to do. And in order to do it at a high level, it's basically the same amount of work that you would need to put in for a full-time job. However, once you have gone through with the process, the results are just so satisfying and fun to play with that it kind of just makes you want to go back and fix your captions and revise your database and retrain your data so you can train your characters more properly in the future. But for now, I just wanted to share my journey with you guys as I took a crash course in the world of AI training. I hope the series was helpful for those of you who have similar interests and goals, and if you ever need to come back to find the information later, it will always be available for you here, completely free to watch whenever you need, courtesy of the Patreon, YouTube, and Coffee Support Squad. With all that being said, thank you so much for watching, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.